Hello everybody and welcome back to Coombe Valley Campers. Today we're going to be showing you how to fit Altro flooring in your camper van. Before we make a start today, I just want to remind you that we've completely changed our website now. We've now got a products page on there where you can buy all of the items that you see here today. So whether that be the glue, the floor, or the tools that we use, go to coombevalleycampus.com and you can find the products page and buy the items that you see in this video. Further to that, what we've been doing is transcribing all of our how-to videos into written form where you can print off the copy, take them with you when you go and work on your camper van. It also make for a really good read. Thank you very much. Today we have a long wheelbase VWT5 to fit an outro flooring in. The van in question was bought as a panel van and the owner actually carpeted this van and fitted the electrics after watching our video. So this van's kind of come full circle. It's a pretty cool story. Anyway, he's brought it back to have his outro flooring fitted by us and also his rib bed that you can find in another video and we'll leave the link below. But what are you gonna need for this? Well, first of all, you're gonna need some flooring. Now, this video is Altro Contracts flooring, and it has been pre-cut to fit a VW T5 or T6 long wheelbase mat. This flooring comes in so many different colors and available from Harrison's Trim Supplies. Again, we can leave their details down below in the description. And it comes in a walkway or a contracts finish. The material itself is just slightly different. The finish is slightly different, but the ranges of colors are slightly different too. To stick this flooring down, and again, you can get this from Harrison's Trim Supplies, is the contact adhesive. Now, it's designed for the floors for the vans. It's not like our normal high temperature adhesive that we'd use for the carpet, but they sell this to you specifically for fitting the flooring. The flooring is pre-cut, but there are always slightly differences, slight differences in the floor, and that's depending on how you've carpeted the van and the ply paneling you've got in the van also. To trim the carpet, you're gonna need a knife, and not just any knife. The blade on this knife is a hook. Now you can use a normal Stanley blade like this, but you'll find you'll go through them very, very quickly because it's a very tough surface that this is made from, and after one or two cuts, that'll be completely blunt. And also, the hook blade just enables you to slice out the floor just in little bits and pieces, and we'll be showing you that later. You're gonna need a pick tool, to lift up some of the screw covers that we'll show you later, and also some of these hex screws or Torx screw uh, tools to remove the Torx screws, and a Phillips as well. Um, then the trim screw, uh, the trim tool is also gonna be used for lifting up the side step, and again, we'll show you that later. So not a great deal today. Um, we've got the floor that's been pre purchased pre-cut. I believe this was 120 pounds delivered for a VW T5 or T6 long wheelbase in the Altro Contracts design. So now all of that's cleared up, let's get straight on with it. As I said before, the customer for this vehicle actually watched our videos and carpeted the whole van himself, so he's done a really, really good job. And it's brilliant for me to see that somebody's watched our videos and actually carried out what we've taught them effectively. Now, what the customer has also done is put the floor down themselves. We will be covering a video another day to lay down a ply floor. In fact, by the time you watch this, we may have already done one. Anyway, we have to now prepare this floor to fit our outro flooring. And basically, because this has been laid down so well, all we need to do is clean it, and then we're gonna lay our floor out. So that's what we're gonna do. When you're converting a camper van into a day van, a good idea is to change this rear threshold plate, it's called, on the back of your van. If you have a panel van or work van, the threshold plate you get is only about this big. So all of these sides are exposed. If you were to buy a new one of these, and you can get them in many different places, um, it just covers up the flooring really, really nicely and just puts a nice finishing touch between the flooring, the carpet, and this plastic trim here. So, and normally the ones that come on a panel van or a used work van anyway are all scuffed and scratched. So, you know, for the likes of about 45, 50 pounds, to buy a new threshold cover plate is uh, a really good idea. But to fit the floor, we've got to remove it. 
So we've simply got to remove these screw caps and then undo the screws underneath and that is how to remove that, nice and simple. The side step itself is actually just held in with some clips, so normally you can just pull them out. If you need a hand, use the uh, trim tool under there, but this should just pull out. This one has an electrical connection, so I'm just gonna undo that on the line. Floor's nice and clean, trim's removed. Now I'm gonna throw the floor in. Now the floor is rolled up from front to back. But the way I fit the floor is we need to roll it from side to side. So I'm gonna unroll it from here, lay it out in the van, and then we're gonna roll it back up again. We've laid out that edge now against that long side, but what I'm noticing is towards the back and even up to here, we're starting to see a bit of a gap. So what I'm gonna do is come to you just over there I'm going to move the back of the floor around and then that will give us this straight edge because really, because that's come as a really nice straight edge, we don't want to mess with it. Um, but because all of these bits need trimming anyway, I'm far happier to be messing with those. So get this straight edge established first and then you can start messing with the other bits. And that's all that needed was just a little shift on that back edge there towards the back door and that will cover up all of those sins. There is going to be an interior going in here but you know, we might as well make it nice while we've got it. So the first bit I'm going to do then is so this corner fits nice is to just trim around that edge and then we can tuck it round the plastic trim. What we're doing here is forming the flooring into that corner to give myself a, a reference of where to cut. I'm not folding it, just sort of giving myself a visual reference. And then I'm gonna make the first cut. I know that bit of a cut there is at a right angle, so I'm following the same cut. So that's fitting nicely there in that corner, straight away. Now, to make life a little easier for myself, I'm just going to cut a big section of that floor away just so I don't have to keep messing with that bit. So there you go, straight away, it's fit in the corner of that floor really, really nicely. I'm just giving it a bit of a trial fit. So we've got the first corner done there now. Um, it's a little difficult to kind of do it and talk at the same time, but um, we established this line first, and then I'm laying the floor back forwards, back and forwards to see where I can make my next, well, my first turn. And my first turn was just around this part here. I then knew I could slide the floor under there, so I kept fitting it down, seeing where I needed to cut, pulling it out and cutting it, and kept doing that over and over and over again until I was happy with a cut that was gonna not expose any floor and give the uh, effect that we need to achieve. So, on to the next bit. Nothing is glued down yet, but we're trying to reduce our movement on the floor so the floor doesn't shift. But again, that is our reference point. So keep that nice, this line here, and then you can work your way around nicely. So we've now done this turn and we're gonna just keep going round, all the way around, until we're happy that all the floor is fitting nicely from this point all the way around, and then we're getting a nice return down here. So yeah, any questions? Let me know in the description and uh, I'll try my hardest to answer them for you. But take a look at what we're doing now.
So we've just spent sort of 20 minutes, half hour, trimming all the way around, and we're really, really happy with how the fit is now from the carpet against, sorry, the, the flooring against the carpet and around the back doors and everything else. Next stage is to glue. And again, as described at the beginning, we're using this contact adhesive here. And what we're gonna do is just glue a strip down this edge because we know we don't want this position to move. So we're just gonna be lifting the, the floor back to about where my knees are, gluing, and then laying the floor back down again because we need to keep this point in the same place. So lift it up, glue it up to about here, and then lay it back down again. And don't forget, because it's contact adhesive, you need to spray both the floor and the flooring itself. So whatever you're sticking this to, use the glue on both surfaces. So now that front bit's done, we know that's not going anywhere at all. I'm just gonna lift this side of the floor and I'm gonna carry that glue on from this point all the way down. Just gonna clear the area a bit more, get any bits and pieces out of the way. If you find you've cut away any material or too much material on any point of the carpet, don't panic too much. A lot of the flooring around the edges won't get noticed too much anyway. You may have a rock and roll bed here or an interior here. As long as you're not making too many big marks near the step, you pretty much get away with it. If you have cut away just too much near the edge, you can just use a slither of flooring like this. Um, because you've been slicing the floor away just in little sections, you'll have a collection of them, much like we have here. And if you've got a mistake, much like the one we've just got here, we've cut off just a little bit too much, you can just find one that fits and then just glue it and pop it back into place. So now we've done the far side of the floor we know the floor is not going to move anywhere at all we're then going to carpet the rest but it's quite difficult to lift up the whole thing all in one go so what we're going to do is literally roll it the floor back up that way and then glue it down at about 30 centimeters at a time and then progressively working our way back to this piece of uh, up to this wall and that's pretty much it And there we have it. We have fitted the Altro flooring into a VWT5 transporter long wheelbase. It's a fairly simple job. You just gotta use the right flooring, use the right tools, and have a bit of patience as well. If you like these videos and you wanna check out any more of them, please click on this link here, which will send you to the carpeting video. If you click on the link in the middle, that will take you to the insulation video. And if you click on the Coombe Valley Campers logo right at the end there, it'll mean you'll subscribe to our channel. So go ahead and click that now. Thank you very much.